Hello, teens! Welcome to Destin Nation. I'm Pastor Jadel, and this is Fearless Friday. So, mighty teens, let us all worship the Lord. One, 
two, three, four, and five. The correct answer is letter C. Did you get that correct, please? I hope you sure did. Thank you for answering our quiz. Stay tuned for more. This is Quiz of the Week. See you next week, team. God bless! Hello, hello to you teens! Welcome back to Teens in Tune! I am Pastora Cristel and once again, we have another song feature for you that is definitely Bible-based and the singers are solid Christians. For today's episode, that is the song Sweet Like Honey by Brandon Reed. Brandon Reed was born on the southern coast of the Golden State and raised across the country, traveling with his father, Evangelist Larry Reed. Glued to the organ seat beside his multi-talented gospel musician mother, it's no wonder how from an early age, Reed found himself in love with music. Those harmonies and divine gospel scales he learned have transported themselves through the thick and thin of Reed's life. And up to this day, the truth, grace, and mercy is heard throughout his music and it is definitely unstoppable the song sweet like honey released this year was co-written with his friends dara mclean and joshua stewart this song would help lift up people's spirits and bring them into the freedom of the love of god this reminds us that when God does miracles and transforms our lives, He does it through the power of His love. And most of the time, it is an unexpected. It is the dice and most of the time. And most of the time, it is an unexplainable, complete ministry in how He does it. It's that life-changing power that leaves us in awe and with grateful heart, ready to love Him even more. Wow. Ephesians 3.19 says, May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Let us listen to this song. I hope you like our song feature for today. That is Sweet Like Honey by Brandon Reed featuring his friends Tara McLean and Joshua Stewart. You can check it out on our Spotify playlist entitled Destination Teens in Tune. Always remember teens that it is important that we choose the songs that we listen to. That God's word always be our standard in everything. You are destined for Christ. God bless you. Good day, Destination! I am Pastor Mark and welcome to What's Up Teens! 1 Thessalonians 5.21 says, But examine everything carefully and hold fast to that which is good. So, have you encountered uh, having a great idea and you want to write it down but you failed to do so and then you forgot about it? So today we are going to review something that is very useful especially in this time uh, that we have online classes and it is called OneNote. So OneNote is a digital notebook that automatically saves and syncs your notes as you work. So you can synchronize all your notes into all your devices. Wow! So meaning you can access your notes with your phone and review them without opening your computer. Something nice also is they have math equations. I know some of us are having a hard time with math and now you need to check that out for you to be able to understand it more. For sure, there are a lot of features that you can do with OneNote and I suggest that you go and study this awesome tool for learning and then go to YouTube, uh, the internet, browse it out, some guides, some tips, tricks, okay? And you know what? When you are skillful, you're gonna be more productive. And remember to always ask God for help 
while you're learning. It's very important to take notes. Don't just rely on your memory. Just like when we read the Bible, we meditate on it day and night. So how can you meditate if you're not writing it down? The Bible says in Proverbs 10 verse 14, The wise store up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool invites ruin. So guys, be a wise person who accumulates knowledge. Remember to examine everything carefully and hold fast to that which is good by taking down notes. This is What's Up Teens and you are destined for Christ. Hi teens, welcome to Compass. I'm Pastor Jodel and this is Fearless Friday. And every Friday, we're talking about how to become fearless for Christ. Isaiah 35 verse 4, Say to those who have an anxious heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. With the recompense of God, He will come and save you. Now today, we are going to talk about actually dealing with our anxious hearts. Well, the Bible says, Say to those with an anxious heart, Be strong. Can you say that with me? Be strong. So, all of us have had experienced anxiety in our hearts. And anxiousness is being distracted and unfocused because a lot of things are happening in our mind. We care, we worry, we have anxiety. It came from the word merizo, which means solicitude. Now, some people break down because of the absence of peace in their hearts. There's so much anxiety that they cannot handle it anymore. But God say, you have to speak to your soul and be strong. So tell your soul, be strong. Yes, the soul is our mind, emotion, and will. Proverbs 23 verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So it is very important how we think, especially during this time, that we put things in very nice perspective. Because if we think that our studies are too heavy for us to carry, that it is a heavy burden, it is hard, this is how your mind will respond to it. This is how your soul will respond to it. And we have learned from Pastor himself that we are to be determined to finish what we need to finish, especially during this time. And we are not quitters, we are not whiners, but we are victorious because of God who will give us the strength to be able to finish and accomplish something. Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Always remember the promises of God and always speak to your soul. Say to your soul, be strong. Amen and amen. In order for us to illustrate this better, have you ever ridden a roller coaster? And then, once you are seated in your place, there is like a vest that is wrapped around your body and it locks. Even if the roller coaster pushes you up, down, circular, on the side, all the pressure that is coming against you, what? You're not gonna fall down. You're gonna be fine. Why? Because you are locked in your seat. Now, you are strong. That's why any pressure that comes against you, you can overcome. Because you are fastened, you are strong, you are a conqueror through Him who loves you. God keeps you there. Stay there, stay put, and be victorious in Jesus' name. Now, no matter how heavy the pressure is, know that God promised that He will overcome all of these things. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Casting all your anxieties on Him because He cares for you. And to cast your anxieties means to throw it off. Give it to God because He cares for you. Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not for I am with you. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 verse 13, For I, the Lord your God, Hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. 
You have a God who helps you. You have a God who strengthens you. You have a God who is upholding you even now. And He promised to never let go. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief's purpose is to still kill and destroy. My purpose, Jesus said, is to give them a rich and satisfying life. Wow! In the ESB, it says here, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Your God wants you to have an abundant life. But you will not be able to walk in that abundant life if you're gonna quit, if you're not gonna push through. Alright, so do not be dismayed, for He is your God. He will help you finish. He will help you accomplish. He will help you to be a victorious student in Jesus' name. And Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7, Do not be anxious about anything, whatever it is, right? About anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. What do you want God to do for you? Let it be known to God. That means you pray. Ask Him to do it for you. And the peace of God. Oh, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now let us pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you that you have called these wonderful teenagers to be strong, in Jesus' name, to be victorious, O oh God, and to always emerge as someone who has won the victory in everything that they set their hands to do. Lord, let our hearts never be anxious about anything. But as we come to you in prayer, let your peace come upon our hearts that everything's going to be all right. Let your promises reign in Jesus' name and let us walk in the accomplishment of those promises. Father, thank you, God, that we will be fearless for you because you have told us to be strong and to never be afraid. I pray for faith to arise in everyone's heart even now. And thank you that they will receive whatever it is that they ask for in prayer. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, teens, for being here with us here at Destin Nation all throughout this week. We'll see you again on Monday, 5 o'clock. God bless you. But wait, there's more. Yes, we have Destin service every Sunday, 5 p.m via Zoom and FB Live. And what I love most about this teen service is that we get to fellowship with our fellow teens and also learn from God's Word and being full of Jesus. Amen! So we invite you to share the same fun and joy in this service just for us teens. Yes, and always remember, you are destined for Christ! See you there!